Hey, good morning and welcome back. Today I'm out here with my new gunner, chambered in 25 caliber. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but uh, did a couple modifications on this rifle. I purchased it a couple months ago. I've been using it here and there. Uh, switched out the 500cc tank for a 700cc and I bumped up the reg from 1500 out of the manufacturer to uh, 1900 output. So I'm able to do 15 magazines at 10 rounds each and now by that time I'll hit the reg and it just it starts dropping at maybe about 140 sometimes 145 it starts dropping but I can almost do 150 now this one is for 4,500 pounds so that's why you're able to get a little bit more out of it uh, my go-to uh, scope 6 by 25 by 50 with extension uh, sunshade got my cup of noodles my hot coffee because it is about 26 degrees and I have a little bit of frost still up here I know some part of the world it's colder but me this is cold enough so I have a couple of uh, targets, some of those um, little apple juices full of water in them. I got one at 20 yards, 60, 90, or 92 yards, and then one at 222 yards. And I got my steel plate with my uh, exploding golf ball, which I got a bunch of them in here. Uh, and <clears throat> I filled it up last night. But since the cold weather, uh, the gauge dropped a little bit. And I've shot a couple rounds just to make sure it's hitting where I had it adjusted to. A bunch of golf balls in there. So with, with me filling up this bottle, that's a lot of planking for, you know, for about 150 shots or so. Um, and I didn't bring my other, uh, my other bottle to fill it up. So this should be enough for me for the day. All right, sun's starting to come out, maybe warm up a little bit. So the things I like about this thing, it is so easy to chamber, that smooth. It is very accurate and very quiet. It does come with the adapter at the tip, so you can put a half by 20 thread, and I've placed it on there, and it gets quieter, but the rifle as is, it's it's very quiet. The only downfall about that I found, it's heavy. So if you guys are going to carry it around up in the hills or stuff like that, uh, you might want to sling it. And it is still a little heavy though. But other than that, it is really smooth and nice and very accurate. All right, here we go. At 20 yards, I got one on top, chambered. <laughs> Piece of cake. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I know you guys can't really see it. Oh, let me get my finger out of the way. Sorry about that. And... 60 yards is the other one. Uh, there it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. This thing is so accurate. But I have been playing with it, trying different pellets, slugs. Um, and I found that these uh, Exacto Kings uh, 25 caliber at uh, 25.39 grain are really good for this one. All right, let me see the, hit that little log over there where there's that 90 one. My, my other uh, plinking buddy should come out with me out here, and he knows exactly where I'm, where I'm at. <laughs> nope, missed it. A little too low. And uh, if you guys decide to switch the bottle, you'll be able to get more plinking out of it. But it's going to get a little heavier. <laughs> nope, missed it again. Off to the side. All right, let's see if this one be able to smack it real quick. I'm pulling to the left. That's what I'm doing. Oh, got it. <laughs> All right. Now that 222 yard one. Let's see. Let me count my numbers on my scope. It's not counting it. Just a hair. Eh. There it is. Right there. Oh, shoot. Too low. It's got to go higher. Oh man, I should have brought my gloves today. <clears throat> Let's see, there it is, right there. Nope. 
missed it. Try it one more time. See how many more rounds I got. I got three more rounds before I switch uh, magazines. Oop, got it, got it. <laughs> All right, that's a that's the fourth water bottle. Let's see if I can hit that golf ball. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, it's gonna be smaller. I should have repainted my plate, but uh, ran out of the house kind of quick and didn't get a chance. Nope, off to the left. I'm pulling to the left because I'm holding the my camera on one side. Um, but I don't know if you guys can hear the difference on it for being a 25 cal. It, it is not loud, really. Um, and if you put that uh, silencer in the front, it uh, it would get quieter. I have different ones for it, and I've tried different ones, and it does get quieter. It doesn't matter which one I use. Oh, that was close. All right, it might be my last one, I think. Yep, that was the last one. Let me uh, switch magazines. So you push it from the back and slide it to the back. And usually what I do is uh, I'll write the number behind it so I know which ones I loaded and which ones I didn't load and which ones I used and all that good stuff. Slides from the right to the left. And look at that. It's loaded already. Man, this thing is so smooth. Too bad they didn't make this one in uh, 30 caliber. I would have loved to purchase in a 30 caliber. And... Uh, Still to the left. I'm pulling to the left. I'm going to compensate now. I'm a little bit to the right because I'm holding the phone. All right. So one, two, three. Okay, there it goes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I got it, guys. All right. All right, let's go for a walk. Here, I'll show you. A... Oh, and uh, some other thing I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. Uh, some guy on a YouTube video I saw, he said he couldn't fit his uh, rifle inside the carrying case. That you have to take it all apart. You got to take off the tank and your uh, bipod and all that stuff, and you can't put a sling in all that. If you do it right, you can fit this thing in there. It's it's not gonna. It'll fit nice and tight. I, I'm able to fit all this on there. All right. Anyhow, <coughs> Oof. fingers are freezing. All right. Let's see here. Try to keep you guys balanced. And uh, a couple weeks out here. Uh, I mean, we're freezing out a couple weeks ago. I came out here to do my planking, walked by a rattlesnake, didn't even see it. And uh, here's the first one at 20. Oh. Okay, uh, hit at the bottom, guys. And don't worry, I do pick up my stuff. Not like some guys that leave their mess out here. Uh. Uh. Blew off the top of this one. <laughs> I'll be back for it in a minute. Oh, there goes a jackrabbit. Huh, surprised they're, uh, they're out here. It was a little nippy. Oh. Let's see this one. Where did I hit this one at? This one's sitting on the log. Oh. I'm gonna rip this one really nice. Oh, here, let me focus you guys. Huh. Oh, it's, the log's already frozen. It's got, the, I don't know if you guys could tell, the water. It just ran down. <laughs> the sun is starting to creep out a little bit. It's going to start warming up a little bit in a, in a few minutes. It's probably about 30 degrees by now. It was 26 when I got here, so. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, for me, it was worth it uh, purchasing that longer tank. Uh, especially if you bench the rifle, um, you fill it up, and you, like I said, you get uh, you can almost get the 150 shot. You can get the 150 shots for sure, but it, it starts dropping off about 140, 145 or so, or 146. Depends how fast you shoot it. But if you do top off that tank at uh, 4,500 pounds, you'll be able to get that. Usually, I only do about 42, 4,100 pounds on it. And uh, I'm still able to get 140 shots out of that. But if you drop it down or leave it alone as it comes out of the manufacturer at 100, uh, 100, 1,500 output, then you will get probably a little bit more than that. I just, 
I bumped it up a little more to get more power out of it to do long range shooting with it. And uh, like I said, if it would have came out in 30 caliber, I would have purchased it. Uh, I do like the 25 cal, but I wanted a second 30 caliber. So next video I do, I'll show you my new my new toy that I bought. I picked it up a couple weeks ago. I just got to work on it though. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. All right. <laughs> Whether you guys want to believe me or not, and some of you guys that follow me, uh, there it is. And you can see the water starting, oops, starting to ice up on top too. And my exploding golf ball. You can see all the shots that I do. Let's see here. Huh. Looks like I nicked it from the top or something, or blew it off or something. I don't know. The powder's still in there. If you guys can see that. Alright, see? This is a shot, so I must have nicked it from the top. Oh, here's a little piece right here. Huh. Alright, so let me turn around so you guys get an idea how far it is. And let me zoom it in. There's my red buggy. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, and I'll, ca I'll catch you guys on the next video. Alright, goodbye.